Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2's final update is just around the corner, literally going live tomorrow, and it's starting to look insane. With all of the Season 3 Battle Pass skin leaks, with them even teasing even more last night, we then have new live event leaks, which you guys do not want to miss out on, so let's get straight into it. And if you guys do want to check out the 5 Season 2 Battle Pass 4 completely free, remember I do give 5 subscribers every single day. For people who do, drop a like on the video, subscribe with all notifications turned on, and leave a comment of your epic ID name down below in the comment section below. Remember, if you guys are picking up this Battle Pass, please do consider popping in my support credit code Apple1. So starting off with the brand new live event. It's now confirmed a live event will be taking place this season, with Zeus creating a huge storm and his hourglass is now over at Mount Olympus, where we're going to actually need to destroy this inside of the live event to stop Zeus's massive storm which you guys can actually see on his loading screen this is what the storm is going to look like but it's also been leaked in the files as well where it will start off the island slowly making its way towards the island heading for pandora's box to possibly reopen it or destroy the box and this is all created from zeus which is actually already being leaked which you guys can see here this is what the brand new sandstorm is actually going to look like in this update which actually looks insane bro you guys can see all the zeus is lining off the island slowly coming towards it it's actually going to be a very very big sandstorm which i'm actually excited for but it also comes out of an audio file and leakers have discovered something pretty insane if you guys put this audio file in a spectrogram you will actually be able to see some interesting icons with one of them is actually from this survey skin confirming this is actually going to be a brand new battle pass skin for next season which i'm so excited for bro because this battle pass skin actually looks really really cool and fits the theme of like a wasteland kind of battle pass really really well you guys can also see three other logos which we're currently unsure of what these are possibly going to be skins or whatever they're going to be coming out in my opinion they're probably going to be new icons for medallions next season but we're going to have to wait and see but we also have even more live event spoilers with the huge airy statue over at mount olympus this will actually be given an animation in tomorrow's update which you guys can see he puts his sword in the air and a lightning bolt will actually hit the top of his sword starting all of these sandstorms which is insane bro it's actually super super cool let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys are excited for this live event because it's going to be nuts but we do have a brand new free skin coming in this update as well finally being the elite archetype skin with this skin being in the files for at least six months now it's finally coming into the game we all originally thought it was going to be inside of the winter vest rewards as a bonus present as he doesn't have an item shop tag but he never released and now he will be this week the 2024 epic games mega style will be going live where we'll be able to unlock this skin for completely free as in 2022 we could claim the tectonic complex skin for free and in 2023 we could get the coldest circles bundle for completely free so expect to see the elite archetype skin in this this week's mega sale for completely free which i'm so so excited for but there is actually a brand new free bundle that's going to be available for everyone to obtain before the season ends that actually belongs to chewbacca as you guys can only get his skin through the lego pass and not everyone can get the lego pass so fortnite are giving out a free bundle for all players which the first cosmetic you guys can get is actually the wookie battle staff pickaxe which i really like i'm probably going to use this pickaxe quite a lot we then have the chewy wrap which is also very very nice and then finally the new adventures loading screen which is the lego loading screen if you guys didn't have any idea which will probably be able to unlock all of these by completing some random quests in lego fortnite i can't lie the quests are probably going to be very easy so you'll probably be able to do them in like an hour or so a free v bucks refund is now getting sent out to all players who previously purchased the darth maul wheels when they first got sold into the item shop as they are now getting sold at a cheaper price but there are actually some secret skins to yet release inside of this season before the season ends and that's all to do with the best car bundle in the item shop you guys can actually get the new car which is actually so fire bro get some pretty cool decals on this one as well before they've actually teased a free new mandalorian skins on here bo-katan Kreese, the armorer and sabine red you guys can see fortnite have even made their very own featured images for these skins confirming they will be coming out as skins in the near future as they must have models for the skins in the files somewhere and with fortnite confirming a new update next week there is a very high chance these three skins will be getting added inside of that update which i'm so hyped for bro because the bo-katan Kreese skin is going to be pretty sick in the game bro. i'm very excited for these we will then have a live event countdown added in next week's update which is actually now being confirmed next week we're going to be getting an update and it won't be adding any new items or any new skins simply things for this live event meaning this live event is actually going to be really really big and it's no coincidence that the titan skin was added into the files last update which is literally the arm that brought pandora's box onto the island this may possibly be a brand new free live event reward for this season because we haven't had a live event skin in a very very long time before
before and I've actually already foreshadowed what happens with this brand new loading screen. You guys can get this for completely free by completing all of the storyline quests. But on the loading screen, you guys can actually see Hope is actually sat on Zeus's throne, confirming we basically do defeat Zeus in our live event, but I'm not quite sure how we do it or what happens afterwards, so it's going to be still really, really fun to play it. But enough about that, let's get into the Season 3 Battle Pass skins. Fortnite have started to play test Season 3 and its first update, which is going to be bringing a brand new vehicle hijacking mechanic into the game next season. But just today, Fortnite also started to play test the second update of Season 3. They've never done this before a season starts, meaning it's going to be a very, very big update. And from the Chapter 5 roadmap leaks, it looks like this update will be bringing the Pirates of the Caribbean collab, where we're going to be able to get a Captain Jack Sparrow skin, which man, I'm so excited for, as well as a brand new Lego Clombo, meaning Clombo could also be possibly coming back to Battle Royale next season as well. So make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything on that, because next season's updates are going to be really, really cool. We then have some massive leaks about next season's map. We've all seen the Chapter 5 roadmap, like I've just talked about, that next season is going to be like a wasteland-themed season. But on here, someone noticed something. There is actually a very, very faint building in the very back of this image, which looks to possibly be a brand new castle POI. And this is actually going to be replacing Mount Olympus. And the reason for this is because of this image a few days ago actually got released of the Season 3 minimap. You guys can see it's showing off all of the water getting dried up, which fits the theme of a wasteland theme kind of well, as well as snow coming from the bottom right, which is where Mount Olympus is located. Confirming whatever building this is in the Chapter 5 roadmap image is going to be replacing Mount Olympus, which is actually going to be really, really cool. And with next season being a wasteland themed season, the battle pass is going to be insane. And yes, we have all of the skins leaked early on the skin surveys, starting with a new version of the Calamity skin. You guys can see she actually does fit the wasteland theme pretty well. Kind of reminds me of like a Fallout character from the series, if you guys have ever seen it. It kind of looks like him, but just as a female version. So this will probably be tier one next season, which I can't lie, it's going to be really, really cool. But if you guys actually do head over to the dummy NPC on the island, it's actually currently referencing a character named Axel and teasing him getting a makeover. And when you actually do go onto the skin surveys, you guys can see this brand new dummy skin, which has actually been on these surveys for a very, very long time. And it fits the theme of a wasteland season very, very well. So I'm expecting to see this skin inside of the season three battle pass, which I can't lie. I think this skin looks pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We then have a robot mouse girl skin. I think this skin's probably going to be my favorite skin inside of the battle pass besides the dummy skin, bro, because this one actually looks really cool. I'm very excited to use it. Hopefully it's quite early in the battle pass, so we don't need to grind too much about it. We then have a mutated wolf skin thing. I don't know. It's going to be around halfway through the season, which I actually kind of do like. I don't think I'm going to be using it as much as the other skins, though. But before we get into the rest of the battle pass skins, there is actually a bunch of new features coming out next season as well. Starting with a train revamp. It's looking like the train will be getting turned into a steam train that goes through a desert apocalypse themed biome. This is going to be really cool to see this on the island. We then have a brand new flag item that's going to be coming to the game. And the skin putting this down is actually from the skin surveys to be this skin and looks to be our possible first look at a season 3 battle pass skin and I can't lie this skin I actually really do like it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below but we also do have this huge skin on the left there are no survey skins of him but he looks like he's going to be coming out inside of next season and could be a new version of big chuggus without his helmet because he does kind of have like these tube things are down his arms I don't really know where this skin's going to be coming from but it's going to be pretty cool and will be coming out inside of the season 3 battle pass and we also have a brand new peely skin on the right but we we have no idea what this Peely skin is, but that's not all. Below Peely, you guys can see a new vehicle that's going to be getting added to the game, which also looks like it has tracks on it, which could mean we may be getting a Mad Max collab for this season as well, as it would fit the theme very, very well. So back to the battle pass, we then have this old radio skin thing looking. It looks kind of beaten up. I can't lie, it looks really cool, and, and it's something you would actually find inside of a wasteland, so expect him to be inside of the battle pass, as well as this huge mutated skin, which I have no idea what it is, but Fortnite always like to add a big silly skin and while it's looking like this is going to be the big silly skin for season three and i can't lie it actually does look really really cool we then have this skin which we've already discussed from the leak chapter 5 roadmap and will be in next season which i'm actually excited for we're not sure where this is going to be in the battle pass hopefully it's not too high or hopefully not too low because it's actually quite a sweaty skin so i imagine it's going to be round in the middle and finally for tier 100 we're going to be getting
using this skin, which is a really complicated name that I don't know how to pronounce. And I'm not going to try and pronounce it because it's quite complicated. But yeah, this skin is going to be insane. Make sure you guys do not miss out on this battle pass because it's going to be pretty crazy. And remember, we also have a load of new mythic weapons, one of them being for the tier 100 skin. This skin was actually supposed to release this season with a brand new fire hammer mythic, but it actually looks like it's going to be coming out next season instead. So we're actually going to be getting a mythic fire hammer weapon next season, which bro, I'm actually very, very excited for. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But it was actually a possible C3PO skin coming to the game as well. I know we have him as a bat bling right now in the item shop, but in the promotion image, you guys can see him holding a shovel as a full skin, meaning C3PO may be coming into the game in the near future, which I think is going to be so, so sick. Let me know your thoughts about a C3PO skin coming to the game. But that is everything we have for you guys in today's video. The brand new update will be releasing tomorrow and I'm so excited for it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys are hyped for the live event. Subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.